Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, migration. You know, moving one website from one place to another place. 2019 style. Jackson here, welcome to my channel. This is indeed where I share my tips, my tricks, my tutorials, my thoughts, my everything all about WordPress. And if you'd like a bit of WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe if you're new here. Click the bell icon as well for extra bonus points and check out the description below. It has all the links and the descriptions and the spiel and the bump about all the stuff we're gonna be going through today. Plus it has a link, a free download link to my new theme for Elemental. It's a free starter theme for Elemental. Totally wicked. Grab yourself a copy today. All right, on with the show. January. 2017, the 17th of January, 2017, I released a video called Migrate Your WordPress Website in 10 Minutes, something like that. It's been my most successful ever video on this channel. Uh, still racking up thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of views per year. And it's two and a half years old, more than two and a half years old. So I thought, years, it could be a good time for a little bit of a remake. So this is it. 2019's version of how to migrate your website, your WordPress website from one place to another place using a plugin. The thing is, the plugin that we're talking about is not the one that I was using two and a half years ago. Now, that was Duplicator, which is still is a fine, fine plugin. But I came across a different plugin uh, during 2017, I, th I think. And well, quite honestly, it blew my socks off. This thing is so simple to use. It is insane. I am in love with it. I love it. I want to marry it. It's just fantastic. So let me introduce you to today's session. We're going to migrate a site from a local host development environment to SiteGround. And we're gonna use the absolutely phenomenal WP all-in-one migration plugin. All right, let's get this website moved. Right, here we've got the site that we wanna move. Now, this is actually the site that we created the other day uh, for the video that took a Cento theme starter site, customized it, and then made a new site out of it. And this is what we ended up with. We started with uh, the Amalia site. There's Amalia, isn't she lovely? Uh, and we turned it into Norman in about 25 minutes. And you can check that video out in the card above me. So here's Norman, our new site. Now, this was made on the copy of ServerPress local host WordPress development software, which I've got installed on my computer. So I, d I, I created the website locally. Now, uh, there will be a tutorial about that coming up very soon. Uh, and the link to the software that I use, ServerPress, is in the description. So Norman is what we're going to move. And we're going to move it to the, the Cento theme demo site. And we're going to make this demo number 10. So in due course, you'll be able to import this and use this as the basis for one of your new projects. Right, let's get over to the back end of our website. Um, we are looking at the back end of Norman now. And we need to go install our plugin. And like I said, the WP all-in-one migration plugin is my absolute number one, no holds barred, no other contenders for moving websites. End of story. It's awesome. It's as simple as that. Okay, enough gushing. Let's get back to Norman. So let's go, let's go install this plugin. We're going to go to plugins and add new. And we'll do a little search for all-in-one. One, and there it is first on our list. We're gonna click install now and click that activate button once it's installed. Right, there are two stages to this operation. That is getting a copy of the file that we need from the existing site, the, the site that we're moving and getting that up to our new hosting. Okay, so as I was gushing about in the intro, the all-in-one plugin is more than simple to use. You simply go to all-in-one menu, go to export, click export to file. That's just gonna run its business. Then we can download the file. We'll just download it to our desktop folder. 
Once that's downloaded, we now need to take that and put it up to the new hosting. Now, like I said, we're going to turn this into demo 10 for the Chenso theme. So that means I'm going to move it to my SiteGround hosting. SiteGround hosting, by the way, absolute winner for WordPress managed hosting. Totally recommended. Link is in the description. Okay, stage one complete. We've got our file. Stage two is wherever you're going to put this new website. You need to create a brand new fresh install of WordPress in the directory that you want to put it, whether that's the main, the main domain directory, the main directory or a subdirectory or a subfolder or a subdomain. Now with the Cento demos, they go in subdomains. So we're going to take our file that we just downloaded and install that into our subdomain. So let's get on with that. We're going to go to uh, SiteGround now and I'm going to log into the account that we need. Then we're going to go to my accounts and go to the cPanel so we can use the one-click install of WordPress to actually get this fresh copy installed. Now, of course, if you don't use SiteGround, you'll have a different control panel. And in actual fact, SiteGround's control panel is actually changing soon anyway. So you might not even see this as it stands. But fundamentally, we're doing the same. In a specific directory, we need to install a new copy of WordPress. Now, with SiteGround, super easy. We click the Auto Installers WordPress button. We click the install button. We choose the directory where we're going to put it. Now, I know that I've set this subdomain up already. So it's demo 10. And I've also set up the SSL. And so we are good to go. Now, the rest of the stuff here in respect to naming the site and the description, that, that can actually all stay the same. We don't need to change anything because we're going to overwrite it with, our, with the website that we are transferring. Okay, so we can leave everything the same. We don't even need to change the admin email. A lot of it is going to get, get overwritten. I'm just going to untick the easy setup option on SiteGround because you don't really need that installed for this mission. Right, let's click install and the install begins. It says it's it can take three or four minutes, but in most cases, it takes a lot. It's a lot quicker than that. Boom, and there you go. We have got the fresh install of WordPress looking pretty cool. Let's go and open that in another tab so we can see the front end. There's our front end. You can see completely vanilla install of WordPress. We can close that up now and get straight over to the admin. So this is the admin of the brand new site. All we need to do is go to plugins, add new. And we're going to install the exact same plugin on the fresh install of WordPress. Let's get that install going now and activate that. OK, now this is the bit where it gets even more silly in how easy this thing is to use. We'll go to the all in one menu and go to import and we simply go import from file. We choose our file, we click open and WP all import will do the rest. OK, so wholly dependent on your Internet speed as to how quickly the file uploads, of course, how big is the file as well. Whilst that is uploading, I want to tell you about an issue that you might find you have. Now, if you look in the background here, you'll see that it says 128 meg is the maximum upload file size. Now that is okay in our context because we're only uploading a 62 meg file, but that limitation didn't ever really used to be there. They brought this in oh, maybe a year ago, can't remember, but it caused uproar and it's still causing uproar on the support forums for this plugin. Go take a look. But the thing is, you can up that maximum file size with their own plugin and the description and the link for that is in the description. And that will take your max file upload to nearly half a gig, which is a pretty a reasonably big site. Of course, you're going to have bigger sites. And if that is the case, then unfortunately, you will have to buy the extension that removes that limitation completely. And man, it's worth it. And a little top tip, if you are a little bit over the 500 meg, I think 512 meg, I think it is. Go and have a look at, before you export your original file for import, go and have a look through your directories and check there's no other backup software that's taking up masses of rooms and also any other themes or plugins that you may not actually be using on, on the site that you've built. Just tidy everything up before you do that export and you'll, you'll be surprised. Most new sites will come in under 500 meg. No problem at all. Okay, I'm going to pause this right now and come, we are going to come back when this file is uploaded. So we have got a completion notice. The import process will overwrite your website. The import's complete. Now we click the proceed button and WP all import will do its thing again. And that's it. 
believe it or not, that is your site completely 100% migrated to a new hosting, new domain, platform, whatever. It does ask you to save your permalinks, uh, which is an important thing to do. So let's do that. But the thing is, because we have imported the old site, we need to log in with the old login credentials. Remember when we set up the fresh install, it was just mumbo jumbo on the login credentials. So let's log in as our old user and their credentials. And you see, we get taken to the permalink settings. We'll just save those up. That's done. So let's go take a look at our site. So if I go over to Firefox and this is actually the demo 10 URL. And because it was an empty directory you uh, with SiteGround, which I'm using, you get this message when you try and access the URL. Now, if our site has migrated correctly, we should see our transfer Norman site here right now. So let's do a hard refresh and see what we get. And there we go. Indeed, we have our Norman site, all imported, all identical, all the parts, all the images, all the sections completely imported. We have success. Okay, so that's it. And it really is as easy as that. WP all-in-one migration. There really isn't any other choice. Well, what can I tell you about the uh, WP all-in-one migration? It is so slick. I don't think I've ever had it fail a single a single transfer in and we're talking a two years of using it. It's a total recommendation, but hey, it's not down to me. It's uh, it's it's what you guys think too as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is duplicator still your thing? Is there something else that I've missed? Let me know your thoughts. Get your comments in below. But until next time, I shall see you later.